Star rating questions are a classic way for people to quickly rate a product or experience. You can make the scale from two stars all the way up to 10, and it's not just limited to stars. Choose from hearts, thumbs, and smiley faces as well. Let's learn how to set up your question and how it will look in your results. When you add a star rating question to your survey, the standard format is super simple. Just add your statement or question in the top text box and you're ready to go. You can customize things as well though. The scale dropdown lets you choose how many stars are in your question. The default is five, but you can choose between two and 10. If you're not a fan of stars, pick from one of our other shapes instead. Then change the color to suit your survey. Click add rating labels to add extra text to each shape and change how each label is weighted. If your question may not apply to everyone, you can add an NA column. Super useful for required questions so your respondents don't get stuck if the question doesn't apply to them. The options tab lets you apply other settings to your question. For instance, by default, the star rating question will take up the full width of your page. If you'd rather it be a little bit narrower, click adjust question layout, then change the question width. This setting applies to all devices, so we recommend staying at 50% width or higher to make sure your question looks great on desktop and on a mobile device. When you analyze your star rating question, the default chart shows one bar with the weighted average. The weighted average is the average star rating that your respondents gave. The data chart breaks it down further to show how many people chose each option along with the exact weighted average. Our question only had five stars, but the x-axis goes all the way up to 10. So at first glance, the rating looks a little lower than it actually is. To fix this, click Customize, Display Options, and then change the maximum value of the axis to match the number of stars in the question. Five, that's more like it. If you'd rather see a chart showing the percentage of people that chose each star, you can change the depth to distribution you can also change the axis scale to absolute if you want to see the number of people that chose each star instead of the percentage. The data chart will still show the percentage and the absolute number. If you check basic statistics, you can see more stats such as the median and mean of the responses to the question. Make sure to save your changes at the end and you'll have all the data you need.